Howdy folks, Moose here, trying to answer a whole lot of emails in one video. Had a lot of folks ask me some of the more esoteric gear that we're using as we film our documentary, Normandy Bound. So when we started this whole idea, it was nice, you know, but now it's, it's raining. So first of all, the gear I'm gonna show you, waterproof, okay, you can deal the elements. First thing is this big old metal table. An XLR 44 riser. Now, it goes up four feet. One thing I have about it I don't really like, yeah, getting on top of it's not very graceful for somebody like myself. There's no step. But once you get on top, it's an incredibly stable platform. So being able to get up four feet vertically, working with any kind of aircraft or many other different topics, this is a great platform. Now, obviously, the thing that has to make it, you know, really the best is the fact it's portable. Completely breaks down into one bag, it works incredibly well. So this is the XR44 riser, one of the more esoteric pieces of gear that we have with us. Now another thing that I, we really, really depend on is the slider. Now this is the Exler, and um, this particular Exler, which is the um, CS60A, has ability to be six feet long, which is really cool. You can either attach these or not attach these. It depends what you want. When you do, you put on the longer belt. And the thing that's really cool about these, this particular slider, is just how smooth it is and how you can be able to work any kind of subject. And we're talking about a six foot slide. All goes in this small case. I mean, it's a really, really stable, portable platform that gives you the ability to do that slide, which for a lot of shots, like for example, right now, if we weren't dealing with the rain, we would have gotten out the other slider, because we have two of these, and Brent would do a slide back and forth, because it adds extra drama and a little tension to the photograph. Otherwise, it's just moose standing in one place and everything kind of in one place, kind of, kind of thing. So the slider, you know, gets rid of the factor in a lot of your basic kind of shots, and that's really important. Now, another more esoteric thing we have here is the Magnum Dolly. Now, right now, it's, you can see where it's, it's folded up. But what this does is real simple. Any tripod, any tripod, you can lock it in here. Gives you ability to, you can say, have a, a, a slider on the move, but rather than just a single path, right? You can roll it any way you want. What's really cool about this is that you can lock the wheels, and that will allow you to sit there and do certain movements, because one wheel's locked and the other ones are not. That gives you a whole nother set of drama when you're trying to bring, you know, little, you know, motion to your motion in a very simple way. Now, of course, since this walks on any of your tripods, you know, whether it's a, a, a Oban, a, a Gitso, or the new Robus, okay, any tripod will fit in here because of these universal clamps, makes your tripod a kind of a multifunctional tool, which is really cool in itself. Now, back to the slider. If you notice, we've got on here the, the Magnus fluid head and the leveling base. Now you can put any tripod head you want on here, but if you want to actually bring a little extra motion to it, okay, this is a great way of doing that. At the same time, you could put this on the tripod that's on the dolly here. Really a very versatile package, and that's why we have it. We have this in one case so that we can sit there and when we work, we can pull out the tools as we need it, vary up the shot. These, like I said, are, are esoteric tools, but they're very important. The last tool that I want to talk about, you can actually see, and that's the strip light I have. I have an LED strip light. It's a, a four-foot strip light, brand new to the marketplace. It does an amazing job. Now, it comes with a power supply that you can plug into AC or DC. At the same time, you have a variable power switch. Right now, it's about half power, so you can do some fill light, you can do a whole lot of things, but the fact that it's a strip light, which has become very popular with flash, we now have that in an LED light panel. And it has its own barn doors. You can look at the still photograph at the bottom of the blog post, you can see a shot of it. So these are kind of the more esoteric pieces of gear that we have here when we're shooting the documentary that not everybody's gonna need. I mean, not everybody needs a four foot riser, right? I mean, and, and here in the shop, in the hangar, our biggest concern is the fact that once we go, the, the guys are gonna grab it to use it to work on the aircraft because it is that stable and it's that large. So 
hopefully this answers a bunch of emails about some of the more esoteric stuff. Again, the Exler slider, okay, can go up to six feet. The dolly, the riser, the LED strip light. So thanks for coming by and welcome to our esoteric workshop.